See all that? You see all that? That is our backyard. We have completely demoed out the entire backyard. It used to be a nice backyard, but now it's just a dirt lot. And from ground zero, we're building it back up. From here, it will be turned into an epic event rental space called the Cairo House. And just a dope backyard. Welcome to the Joe Show. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just start us off in the bedrooms and we'll go over each bedroom because like I just showed you guys on the outside, we're redoing the entire backyard and I'll get into the business decisions why in a minute um, after we kind of show you guys what we're doing. Um, I'll let Chanel talk about some of the rooms, uh, but I just want to show you guys what we're doing and then talk about the business decisions behind it and why we're doing it because um, it's, it's going to be really, really cool. But what do we got going on in the bedrooms? Okay, so this is our office. Jake and I are minimalists. We just like things very, very simple. So all our walls are white. And then we did a feature wall, added some new hardware. So new fans and, and all the all, rooms. All the rooms have the exact same like black fan and door handles. Uh, so we're tying those all together. This is the old one. But. It's the old guy. I'm changing them right now. And we'll get to the floors in a second in the other room. So come down the hallway here. This is Derek and Lauren's room, AKA our guest bedroom. This is the guest bedroom. We have a million floor samples in here, but this is the floor that we want to go with because we're going to keep the tile that's in the hallway. So we were trying to find something that flowed and matched. No more carpet. This is yeah, the there was, so there was carpet in every single bedroom. So we're ripping all that up and putting down this laminate wood. The laminate that, that looks like hardwood. That looks like wood that ties into that tile. So it's around the same color. Actually, when you lay them on each other, they look pretty identical. So that when you go into the rooms, no more ugly, nasty carpet, just clean flooring, white walls, same black fan. Boom, next room? Yeah. And we have one of the handles on that, right? Yeah, handles on here. Down the hallway to the other guest room. Guest room. Future baby's room. Future, future baby room. So black fans, this is the biggest uh, bedroom outside of our master. Um, just again, white walls and black hardware. And then I started changing the handles yesterday. So I only got to three of them so far, but black hardware, just because I like that sleek matte look. Then over to the master. You can show them how ugly our nasty carpet used so to be. So this, yeah, look how ugly this carpet like i mean there's paint on there because we were painting but like it's just like brown. brown and dingy like so just ripping that all up we're waiting to rip this one up um until the floors come in the floors come in um, again same fan everything our makeshift curtain because i don't like this goes into the backyard and it's huge back there and it scares me to like i feel like people are looking in there we are doing we took off all the baseboards and trim and doing we're gonna do this white um, like white, four and a half white four and a half inch trim and baseboards around every single room. Are we showing you in here? It's junky. No, we don't need to go to the okay. bathroom. So that's kind of the, like all the bedroom remodels, um, oh, black accents. These get put up today. Yeah, curtain rods. Black, matte black curtain rods. Matte black. All so the all the accents Same. in the rooms. Um, and I'll show you in a second, but Chanel has been designing Oops. like all the rooms with uh, this little App, app, app on her computer that she makes like little like room mood boards. Um, I just think the overall vibe that we're going for in the house is one minimalist overall. So just not a lot of stuff, but two, we went to Tulum for your birthday yeah. and just love the overall vibes there. So I'm kind of calling it like a minimalist Tulum house. Um, just lots of white, lots of neutrals and a little bit of black. Yeah. But yeah, I'll show you her little like design. But actually, let's just do that really quick, real quick. For those of you guys who haven't seen it, this is my movie room. So in here, this is a room that I did um, and always wanted like my own movie room. So I designed this, built it out myself. Um, got some old movie chairs, bunch of movie posters, got a snack bar, my neon sign directed by Jacob Owens, big screen. So yeah, this is like my, my movie room. Here's when I was on set of GI Joe 
So, but yeah, thought I'd show you guys that. Cause I did, this was the same thing as one of those rooms. It was just another bedroom and I, I turned it into like my movie dining game room. room. Dining room. This is another one we've slightly been redoing. So I want to eventually replace these just cause they're like cheap and paper-like. Waiting on more of our woven baskets from Africa to show up so I can finish this fall. And then we ordered a new light. It's not gonna be here till July. And then black chairs. That will go there and hopefully a rug to go underneath. So yeah, the black chairs, a rug, a new light fixture. And then eventually in this wall, we're gonna cut out basically a window that peers and goes all the way through into this room which we are also the same floors that we're doing in the bedrooms we're bringing into here so it's all matches and flows and, and then, then new couch new couch and then the stair only is in this like section of like a small section of the room so we are going to run the stair all the way across the entire length of the room and the couch will be a little bit smaller and we'll move, shift it down so that you can just it's like a sunken living room all the way yeah, and you'll see the designs for that. I'll have Chanel, let's, we'll just pull it up real quick so I can show you like how she's kind of mood boarding the rooms. So starting outside, again, these Tulum, Bali, a lot of wicker and rattan. So this will be kind of around the pool. Yep, with a concrete table and some white chairs. Now into that sunken living room. I know you guys probably think we're crazy to do white, but I like it. Um, a lot of wood and natural, more concrete inside, some greenery, a lot of linen to make it nice and light and airy with a little bit of black. Black accents kind of all throughout, keep going. So there's the, the light that we ordered that'll be in the dining room and the chairs. So you can kind of see, now get a sense of that room completed. Yeah. Keep going. This is master. That's gonna be our bedroom. And then it's gonna be the guest room. She wanted to switch it up, go a little warmer in the guest room. Yeah, with the oranges, but that's it. It's the last one. These are just extras. They're just extras. So that's her little designs, her little mood boards for all the bedrooms. So moving into the garage, I actually just uh, videoed something yesterday about this. So I'll just go to that right now. Currently starting to clear out the garage because this is also the next big project going to be turning this garage into a full-on home gym super decked out all the latest and best gear so it'll be fun uh just because i want my own gym at my house to you know have at full disposal whenever uh, but to also potentially rent it out for just shoots uh private personal training sessions maybe we'll start hosting some of our own training sessions so really going to deck it out but Today starts the day uh, where we clear it out so we can start getting it built out. Half the stuff is my mom, mom's stuff from her house, but um, yeah, today starts that process. Home gym, buffners in the works. So what's the reason for all the craziness? Not so much inside, because the inside it's more is, is more pleasure, like just living space. We want it to look how we want it to look, be clean, be updated and modern. But the backyard, we, completely gutted uh, from what it was, which was a pretty nice backyard, uh, but have completely demolished it. <laughs> it is just a dirt lot now, but there's a big reason for that. And we're putting a lot of money into making that as nice as possible for, I think, three reasons. I'll go first. Reason number one. That started the whole thing was we want to turn it into an event rental space. Um, the backyard is huge, so... It's like 15,000, 16,000 square feet. We don't... We split our time between here and California. It was just a way to supplement the mortgage. The yard, the maintenance for all the grass, the trees, the bushes was just costing a lot of money, the water bill. So not only just a way to save money in updating the landscape where it's zero maintenance, but also, again, the main reason is to just add another business venture um, to the table. We already, this is our property, this is our home, and the backyard is big enough to host events, weddings, corporate events, bridal showers, parties, baby showers, baby showers video shoots, photo shoots. So why not take advantage of that space? The way it was now, or it was, just wasn't nice enough to do for those things. It needed updating, and so we just decided to 
just kind of gut it. We have a real nice plan for it. We're gonna deck it all out and it will be a, the main reason why we're doing it is for that, for just different events and rentals and, and whatnot. Reason number two, obviously if we live here and we wanna live here more full time down the road when we start a family, obviously you wanna have a nice backyard that you can enjoy and enjoy with your family and have events and parties and games and have it be as nice as you want it. Um, so that's another reason. And then reason three would just be overall adding to the property value of the house. You want to add value to your property when you can, if down the road, for some reason you have to sell it or you end up selling it. Not that we want to, or are planning on selling it. Yeah. We don't plan on it, but you just never know. So just the more value we can add into the home, um, you know, the better long-term down the road, but we are using it as a business venture for sure. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't think I'd be putting this much effort into making it as nice as we're gonna make it. <laughs> it's um, it's crazy. It's hectic. I'm she's like stressed and I'm because excited. we're just supposed to like update it and make it nice, and then I just walk out there one day and it's there's just it's just nothing there. It's gone. It's all gone. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like we had to start over from a blank slate to get the look that I was going for. Which the easiest way for me to describe it right now is just kind of like a Palm Springs hotel. Yeah. Just very simple, like I said, minimal, um, and just clean. And we've been collabing on the design together. It's kind of, you know, both our visions, like even the guys who are doing all the, what, remodel and stuff. Yeah. We're just like, yeah, normally we would have to charge people to like design it, but it's great. You guys are bringing us the design. So we're telling them everything that we want to do and finding the people that can make it happen. So yeah. 2020, maybe late 20. 20 maybe early 2021 owens design services coming at you you need you need your house design some rooms design backyard design we got you it's what we do oh pickles joining the oh you join look at her you so sweet girl she's not she just wants this you're so sweet girl so she likes. um so yeah that's why we're doing it big business venture family stuff down the road adding value to the home um what else? Is there anything else? No, nope. there will be there? more. We're going to eventually get to the whole inside of the house. We have phases that are going, so not everything's going to happen we at once. We want to do laundry room, mud room, the bathrooms. We want to paint the outside, stucco the outside, a bunch of stuff. So yeah. that'll come later. But right now, we're working on everything we just showed you. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, I guess uh, we'll keep you updated once once we get closer to being done, if not done. Also, uh, drop a comment below letting us know what you think our YouTube channel name should be. <laughs> she wants to start a YouTube channel.